So yesterday, a couple of patents got approved that will allow Apple to reverse wirelessly charge using an Apple laptop. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying whoopee do. this has been present in Android smartphones and some Windows notebooks, but if Apple does it, you're gonna start seeing it in a lot of other products, a lot of other PC laptops that come out in the near future. But this is very important for the Apple ecosystem because being able to wirelessly charge your devices adds an extra layer of convenience. Imagine this, you know, you're traveling and you forget your, 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 your lightning cable, you forget your charging cable for your Apple Watch. You don't have to run out, buy one, which costs a lot of money at the Apple store. You can simply just use your Apple laptop. You place it on top of the deck of the keyboard and it will start charging. Now this is not a perfect solution because it inhibits the ability to work properly. Like if I place this watch on the deck of the keyboard, my typing experience starts to suffer. If I place an iPhone 12 on the deck of the keyboard, my typing experience suffers a bit more. I can still use the touchpad, but I'm limited to the amount of space I now have. I can type, but I have to cramp my wrists over the products in order to type or continue my work. The situation gets even worse if you use an iPhone 12 Pro Max, like this thing just takes up the entire deck, or if you place it vertically, it's gonna cover parts of your keyboard. But I don't think Apple intends for you to charge your devices while you're working. This is here to charge your devices while you're sleeping or not using your laptop, or if you need to quickly charge your AirPods Pro over 15 minutes to get a few hours of extra juice. Like you go to the hotel, you, you do your work for the entire day, and, and then before you go to bed, you, you open up the lid, you place your Apple Watch, you place your smartphone on the left-hand side, and by the time you wake up, all of your Apple products are completely charged. Now, how are they going to do this? Because this is a metal chassis, and wireless charging is really not that possible through a metal material. A lot of manufacturers have to switch to plastic or glass in order to incorporate wireless charging. Now, Apple can do this in a few ways. They can start making plastic decks on their laptops, which I don't think they're gonna do. They can switch to a glass deck, which would be kind of interesting, or they might do something like Google. They might have an aluminum chassis, but in the spaces where you have the coils, there will be a piece of plastic over it, and then the entire top of the deck will be painted to look like an aluminum piece of material. Now that's more likely to happen, but who knows? Maybe Apple has found out a way to wirelessly charge through aluminum. Now this is something Apple could have incorporated a very long time ago, but I think they purposely waited until they got away from Intel. Like, could you imagine if Apple placed wireless coils inside of an Intel MacBook? Like those Intel MacBooks were already getting extremely hot. And to have another layer of coils that heat up when a product is touching to be wirelessly charged, that's just adding another disaster to their current MacBooks. With these new M1 chips, they run significantly cooler. So even if you had wireless coils in the front, it wouldn't really cause any performance issues. And on top of that, the M1 chips just take up a lot less space inside of these chassis, giving them more room to place these coils inside. Now, they're gonna have to do this in a very special way because even though technically the Apple Watch is using Qi charging, it's using an Apple variant of it. So they're potentially gonna have to make one side that's compatible for the Apple Watch, and then on the left-hand side, will work with any Qi charging capable device. Now again, I know this is not a major update to a product, but it's still a small thing. It's a small added convenience, and if you're living in the Apple ecosystem, it's gonna add an extra layer of happiness to your life. You no longer have to freak out if you forget a cable at home. As long as you have your laptop or iPad, you can charge your Apple Watch, iPhone, or AirPods. I'm excited for it, even though it's kind of a small update, but it's still an update that I appreciate. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.